U.S. first hypersonic cruise missile will fly 20 times faster than Tomahawk, world fastest cruise missile. The Pentagon has a lot of cruise missiles in its weapons store, from the long serving Tomahawk to the new Jasmiar. Be that as it may, another missile set to enter administration in 2027 is fundamentally unique. The new hypersonic attack cruise missile, HACM, will fly up to multiple times quicker, giving enemies brief period to get away from its anger. Hypersonic cruise missile will be the principal efficiently manufactured weapon to utilize air-breathing scramjet motors. Raytheon and Northrop Grumman won an contract worth $985 million to foster the world's first hypersonic cruise missile. Hypersonic attack cruise missile, produced for the US and Australia, is an air-launch hypersonic cruise missile intended to strike focuses on the ground rapidly. Under the conditions of the agreement, the Pentagon ought to see the primary functional missiles in 2027. In 2020, the US what's more, Australia together started the Southern Cross Incorporated Flight Exploration Analysis Association, or CIFIA. Named after the group of stars that shows up on Australia's public banner, CIFIA was intended to foster an air-breathing hypersonic weapon framework intended to be carried on both US what's more, Australian airplane, including the F-A-18 Super Hornet, F-35A Joint Strike Fighter, P-8A Poseidon Airplane, and others. The agreement will develop the Raytheon CIFIA model into a real weapon framework. Hypersonic attack cruise missile is a strategic weapon intended to be utilized on the very first moment of an enormous scope regular clash. Hypersonic cruise missile will give our leaders strategic adaptability to utilize contenders to hold high esteem, time delicate focuses in danger while keeping up with planes for other vital targets, Flying Corps Head of Staff General C.Q. Brown said in an aviation-based armed forces articulation last week. Customary cruise missiles are essentially pilotless airplane. In the same way as other airplane, turbofan motors power cruise missiles, driving them at subsonic velocities. Cruise missiles fly low to stay away from radar recognition, and a more slow speed assists them with flying lower and embrace the ground. Tomahawk cruise missiles, for instance, fly at an elevation of somewhere in the range of 98 and 164 feet at a speed of 550 miles each hour. Cruise missile is a weapon, and that implies it flies at Mach 5 or quicker yet we don't know precisely how much quicker it will fly. Most missiles that stay in the climate, similar to aerial missiles, top out at around Mach 5 plus. Sifia was slid from the prior Hi-Fi program, which tried a scramjet motor at speeds up to Mach 8 plus. Hypersonic attack cruise missile will be the world's most first functional weapon framework to utilize a scramjet motor. Like turbofan motors, scramjets gather up oxygen from the encompassing climate to use as fuel. One critical contrast between the two is that a turbofan motor gathers up oxygen at subsonic paces, while a scramjet scoops it up at supersonic speed. More oxygen implies more fuel for the scramjet motor, which empowers it to push the missile much quicker. As indicated by NASA, scramjet motors ought to work to basically Mach 15. Fly 20 times quicker than Tomahawk, that means 11,509 miles per hour, or quickly enough to circle Earth in around two hours. Hypersonic weapons are the latest and greatest in fighting. A large portion of the declared atomic powers have in fact had hypersonic weapons for 50 years or more, as the long-range missiles that convey atomic warheads travel at hypersonic speeds, influencing their objectives at up to 15,000 miles each hour. This new age of hypersonic weapons is different in that it is non-atomic in nature in some measure up until this point, and would be utilized promptly in a regular conflict. There's a ton we have barely any familiarity with hypersonic attack cruise missile. We don't have any idea how quick it truly flies, or how far it flies. All we know is it is sufficiently little to be conveyed by a air force and will be prepared by 2027. Thank you for watching please like, share, comment, and subscribe.